the best time to take Social Security if you're single. All right, I'm going to model a lot of stuff here. So we might break this up in two or three videos, but uh, hang with me. This is important, important stuff. Had a good email from a guy who said, Josh, in all your videos you do, you never show what happens if someone takes that 62 and invests the money as opposed to spending it. I have, but that's okay. I've done so many videos, there's no way for everybody to watch them all. But, but it's probably been two years, if I said, maybe even longer since I last did that video. So we're going to do it again. And we're going to model a bunch of different, I got tons of different models here, tons of different models, all right, uh, for single folks. We're gonna, and uh, I'm using Write Capital. I, I have my Write Capital software. I write it down on a yellow pad or a white pad there because it, it's better. They, there's lots of studies that say when you actually write stuff down, it sinks in uh, clearer for sure. And then I put it on a spreadsheet and we're going to go over it all. All right, so we're going to start with, we got Bob. Bob is single, all right. He's not married. He's single. And what we're going to start with, we're going to start with the premise that Bob says, look, I'm going to take Social Security. I can take it at 62. I can take it at 67. Or I can take it at 70. I'm going to live until I'm 90. All right. So hear me out. We're going to do a bunch of different models here. We're going to take it. Bob is right now. He just is about ready to turn 62. So he'll get his first check the whole year in 2021. So he's going to turn 62 in December 2020. His first check, if he takes it at 62, uh, will be in January of 2021. So he'll have a full year of making Social Security, if that makes sense, following next year. All right. Now, we're saying he has no expenses because I just want to show you what happens if Bob says, I'm just taking Social Security, I'm investing it. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking Social Security, I'm investing it, I'm not spending. So again, when it's time to build these models, you got to start in the most simple way possible so that way you can model a simple against simple and then you can build from there, but don't have all these moving parts. It's like an A-B test. A-B test means I'm modeling everything the same except this one tweak. Does this one tweak change things? Yes, okay, now I'm modeling everything. And I tell you, you can't change a bunch of different things at once. you got to keep it all and just change one thing. All right, so now Bob, his PIA, the amount he gets for Social Security is 2000 a month. That's going to be his PIA. All right, so remember, his PIA, his primary insurance amount, is the amount he will get as full retirement age. We're just going to say 67. Actually, in this case, it's 66 and eight months. I, I don't care. We're going to say it's at 67. His PIA is 2000 a month, all right? So if he weighs, hey, buddy, if he, uh, there's Pablo. Don't forget to paw the like button. Oh, whoa. Hold on a second. Pablo just made a set of bass, so he's going crazy over here, which is funny as can be. All right, so if he takes that 62, he will be reduced roughly by about 30% of that 2000 a month PIA. If he takes that 70, he'll be increased by about 24% from that 2000 a month PIA. Hope that makes sense. All right. So now we're saying, okay, so Bob said, I'm going to take that 62. I'm going to invest it. I want to see what I get when I'm 90 years old. All right. Or he said, no, I'm going to take that 67, my full retirement age. I'm going to invest it. I'm going to see what it's worth when I'm 90 years old and I die, or I'm going to do it when I'm 70. All right. So let's keep going here. Okay, here he comes, this, this guy. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go retirement. There you go. You smell so good. Oh, yeah, you smell so good. And we're going to put it, we're going to make it asset allocation total stock index. All right, so we're basically getting VTI. We're assuming it's a 6.5% rate of return because that's what Vanguard expectations pretty much are for stocks going forward. And I agree with that. All right, so now what happens is we're going to go to cash flows. All right. And we're going to see what old Bob's looking at here. And by the time, so here you can see, that's what he's getting right there. About uh, he's getting about fourteen sixty-seven. So it's reduced by about five hundred and thirty-three dollars. Yeah, five thirty-three from his PIA, which is two thousand months. So he's getting four seventeen six one thirty is his annual Social Security benefit, inflated each year at two point four percent cost of living. And we go up here, we use this uh, RC totals. He's going to get about $691,000 of income. All right, so he's going to have $691,000. And then we're going to we're going to go. Hi, buddy. All right, so we're going to say, what is the median account balance when he dies? It's $847,000 if he invested in total stocks. The median account balance when he dies, eight forty seven. So he made six hundred ninety one thousand of income. Let me get Pablo go. All right. So his median liquid net worth is eight hundred forty seven thousand, and he was able to to have six hundred ninety one thousand dollars of income from Social Security. So essentially, he took six hundred ninety one thousand, invested. He got about one hundred fifty thousand dollars of growth, uh, six and a half percent. Now here we're getting in point one half one percent right there, uh, one half because that's all in cash. So I, don't pay attention to the current plan. We're looking at proposed plan because remember we're comparing just one simple thing. 
I hope that makes sense. All right. So he, you know, hey, he doesn't run out of money. Uh, he has eight hundred fifty thousand bucks to show for that his death, um, and he he took six hundred ninety one thousand dollars of income. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We're gonna say, okay, what if he uh, what if he took Social Security? at uh, full retirement age, which is basically 67. It's actually 66 and eight months. So at full retirement age, and let's see, now he's got 902,000. So he increased his portfolio value by 50, you know, 50, 000, 50 odd thousand dollars. How much did he actually pull from social security? We're gonna go to cash flows. All right, so again, this is if he took it at his full retirement age, we're gonna go to proposed plan. And good boy, Pablo. And you can see you have zeros here. So he took that twenty. He got twenty-seven thousand six seventy when he hit his uh, when he hit sixty-seven. When he had a full uh, full retirement age, a full year of drawing Social Security. So it went up from seventeen thousand six thirteen to twenty-seven thousand, which of course is more than two thousand dollars a month. His PIA is two thousand a month, but that was are adjusted for inflation as well. So the so again, he's sitting there when he's sixty-two years old. He's saying, okay, I can take it now. Social Security has given me a statement that says if I take it now, my P, if I if right now my PIA is two thousand a month. If I take it now, that benefit will be reduced at two thousand a month to my current uh, age of sixty two. But that doesn't say what his benefit will be at sixty seven. It just says what his PIA is now because at sixty seven there's also cost of living adjustments. So when you're sixty two, you just look, you can't just look at it and say it's two thousand a month. 1400 a month or 2400 a month, you got to say it's 2000 a month to, in today's dollars. What's it going to be in the future? And everyone says it's the same. No, it's not. It's not. And I'll talk about that here in just a second. So look, so basically you got to say, okay, if I can take it at 62, it's going to be 14, what did I say? 67 a month. If I take it at 67, it's not 2000 a month. It's actually whatever that is, 27,670 divided by 12. It's actually 2305 a month, all right, because I've picked up some extra money because of the cost of living adjustments. All right, so let's keep going. So now we say, okay, that's great, Josh. What's his net worth when he dies? Uh, we already talked about that, his liquid net worth. Yeah, so he has about 50000 more in this account. How much did he get from Social Security? That's what I want to say. $845,000. So in this case, Bob has 691000 or eight forty-five. dollars I just got to look at my, account, my uh, cheat sheet there. All right. So lastly, let's go and do it when he is uh, when he takes that seventy, shall we? Now again, this is if he lives till ninety, and that's the caveat here. We gotta assume something. Uh, we're gonna assume he lives till he's ninety. If he takes that seventy, uh, now he's got nine hundred thirty-five thousand of a median uh, asset, so it's about a hundred thousand more. So basically, you can see uh, it goes from eight fifty to nine hundred to nine fifty, give or take, depending on when he takes it. Now if we go to cash flows. How much did he get from taking Social Security at 70 in total cash flows? He got 951000 So when he took it at 62, he got 691000 When he took it at, eight, at uh, 67, he had 845000 And when he took it at 70, he got 951000 So basically, he got uh, $250,000. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, well, hundred thousand more. Nine fifty. I can't remember. Nine fifty minus six ninety one is how much is that? Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand more he made in Social Security by waiting until he was seventy to get it, and he was able to convert that two hundred fifty thousand and have more when he died. If that makes sense. Um, oops. Let me just add it. That's not what I want to do it right here. So he has nine hundred fifty one thousand of income is what he had when he took Social Security at 70. Again, if we took it at uh, this plan right here, current plan, taken at uh, 62, the earliest, he only has 691,000. All right, now, and again, if we go back to analysis and we look at proposed plan, he has 935,000 versus if he took it at 62, he has less than that, he has what, eight, uh, what do we have here? Uh, he has 847. All right. So taking it at 70 makes sense if he's going to live until he's 90. So we're going to do part two because watch. Now we got to find out what happens if he doesn't live till he's 90. That's where it gets different. So hang tight. We'll go back. Part two. Thanks now.